cut your head off. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, folks. So y'all know that LiPo 4 lithium battery upgrade I've been talking about for the last few videos. If you don't, go check them out. But here's the system, pre-installed, um, ready to go. This needs to go in there. That in there. Mm. How are we gonna get that in there? Not me. What is this we you speak of? It's you. <laughs> well, see, there, that's the reason why this is not hooked up. This is not hooked up. This is not hooked up. None of this is hooked up. Because all this has got to come off of here. And the platform's got to get installed first. And then we got to install everything back in the bay. I used wing nuts here so in case I do need to get a battery out uh, in the future it'll be easier. You guys see why I built this into pieces. That's a pretty close match. So these are marked. That one goes towards the back. That's the right side. That's the left side. Why'd you mark them? So they can go right back on these posts where they're supposed to go. Well, I just meant, is there a difference between them? Well, the holes may not line up the same on all. So as long as they go back in the same direction where the holes were drilled, everything just lines right up nice oh. pretty pretty proud of this setup Alright, so we're ready to start hooking the batteries together. So that they can balance out yeah. for 24 hours? Yeah. And that series or parallel? This is in parallel. 
all the negatives together, all the positives together. And the manual said hook them together one by one in parallel and then let them sit for 12 to 24 hours to stabilize or to equalize. Okay, so those can equalize for 12 to 24 hours, and in the meantime, I can go ahead and get the other components sit in there and hooked up and ready to go. Don't Next. plug that in yet. No, we're not going to plug that in. We're not going to hook that up yet, but we can we can do all the other wiring. Cool. So we can hook the charge controller up, but not turn it on. Yeah. Yeah, I can hook it up. I just can't turn it on yet. So. I'm going to confirm that this is off. That's off. That one goes to the breaker? Yep. And the breaker's off? Yep. And then that from the breaker, it goes to the inverter. So those are the lock nuts? Yeah, lock washers. Oh. And then these are the lock nuts. It's got nylon in the end of it that squeeze in the thread and cause it to not come off. When the socket doesn't fit. Well, the socket fits, but there ain't enough room between the case in the bolt hole to get the get a to get a socket on there. Yeah that's a pretty tight squeeze. I think he lost his head. Say hi. hi. Dad. What? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I got rest. So I was kind of concerned about how I was going to get from this bay to the power connector in the other bay. And I was hoping there'd be access behind this light. And it sure looks like there is. Yep, I can come right through there to bring my power in and out. I went ahead and pulled out the junction box out of here. Here's the uh, Romex that goes into power up the rig. And there's the stranded copper that comes in from the shore power. So I decided to pull that box off down there and move it up here and uh, run everything into that junction box. So, and right where that light is, there that little grommet is, I'll run the solar cables. Well, 
Well, it's been a couple of days and it's actually been up and running. I need to finish buttoning everything up here. So that's what I'm gonna do today. One of the holdups was this uh, if ever charge controller has a setting for lithium but with the uh, neither on the panel nor on the hard uh, the little remote display that I have could you select the lithium setting per the manual and you know yeah there's no way to select it um, when we went to Phoenix yesterday morning to drop off Becky from Roy and Becky's travels at the airport I picked up that little Bluetooth thing from Santan Solar that lets me hook this up to my app and program it for lithium so I've been actually that's up and running since uh, sometime yesterday afternoon and uh, so now I can finish up the rest of it we're gonna do something about this next See this old light that was in here. You know, that's going to get upgraded. And it goes right up here on the wall. She's about as done as she's going to get. And the only thing I've got left to do now is fine tuning all the parameters and the charge controller and the inverter and making sure they're all set up the best way for these lithium batteries. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this series on our upgrade to lithium lipo 4 batteries and stay safe take care